search for a suspect who got away from Elizabeth City Police. Investigators say he hurt an officer with a stun gun and stole a car. Take a good look. This is Denari Lindsay. It happened Sunday. Ten of your sides, Lex Gray, talked to the suspect's mother. Lex? Yeah, Tom and Nicole, this all started at the suspect's mother's house on Sunday. I was there today talking to her. She was extremely upset. She told me that she didn't even know her son was in trouble until an officer showed up at her house to arrest him on Sunday. Now, she says she hasn't heard from him since. She's worried that she's going to lose her house over this. She doesn't know where he is or if he's hurt. She asked us to ask him one thing. Please turn yourself in. Elizabeth City Police Officer Timothy Bateman arrested Denari Lindsay Sunday. That was here on Walker Avenue. But when they got to the magistrate's office, police say Bateman adjusted Lindsay's handcuffs. Lindsay broke free and ran. Bateman caught up to him on this corner just blocks away. Lindsay started hitting, and Bateman hit him with a stun gun. It didn't work. Lindsay grabbed the stun gun and hit the officer in the forehead with what's called a drive stun. That means it hurts but not enough to immobilize the person. Bateman kept fighting Lindsay, but Lindsay ran again. He jumped into a car, which was still running, because the people inside had gotten out to watch the fight. Lindsay drove the car away and abandoned it later with the stun gun inside. Officers didn't find him anywhere in the area. Officer Bateman went to Albemarle Hospital for treatment of bite wounds, but he was released shortly after. Officers aren't giving us a lot of detail about this story today. Uh, we do know now that Lindsay faces seven charges. If you see him, call police right away. Live in Elizabeth City, Lex Gray, 10 on your side. Now here's another look at Denari Lindsay. If you know where he is, call Elizabeth City Police at 252-335-4321. The number's also on wavy.com. Remember, you don't have to leave your name. And for the first time,